Okay. So I can upload it in YouTube for you to, you know, practice anytime in future. All right. Good morning. Welcome again. So sit comfortably on the chair. Keep your feet firmly grounded. Keep your spine upright and straight. Shoulders rounded back. Chin parallel to the ground. And your hands on your lap. So we're going to begin with three deep breaths. And with each deep breath, when we exhale, we're going to exhale all the negative emotions and toxins within the body. So with the first deep breath that you take in, go ahead, take it in. And slowly raise your arms up, bring them above your head. And as you breathe out, Breathe out all the past negative emotions you have within you. Any feeling of guilt, feeling of regret, I wish I had done this, or you know, why did I do that? Or any anger in the past, or any blame, anyone to blame, whether others or yourself, or any pain you feel from the past, slowly let go and bring your hands down towards your heart, which is now devoid of all the negative emotions from the past. You are exhaling them, you are breathing them out, and you feel lighter. Now, with the second breath, we are going to do the same thing, and this time, we are, when we breathe out, we are going to breathe out all the worries about future because those are all in the form of a thought in our head, right? So we are going to breathe out worries, anxieties, any speculation about future, what might happen, and any fear. So let's take a deep breath in. Bring your hands up. Hold it. And now slowly let go of all your, your future anxieties, future worries, future speculations, fear, and bring your hands down towards your heart center. Very good. So now we got rid of past worries, our past uh, you know, guilt, regret, anger, blame. And we are getting rid of, we also got rid of future wor worries, anxiety, speculation, fear. Now we are in the present moment. So in the present moment, the third breath we are going to take is in the present moment. Bring your hands up, hold it up, hold it. And this time we are going to get rid of all our present problems. What are the present problems? Something like, you know, my faucet is dripping, I need to call the plumber or any other problem like I, put, I need to put this letter in the mail or I'm running out of groceries, I need to order groceries, whatever it is, whatever your current situation, you, you are slowly getting rid of all your present problems from your mind because this is all in the mind and bring your hands down to your heart. Here, now we are totally in the present moment because now no worries, no problems, no fears, no anxieties, right? So for these 30 minutes, we are going to stay in this totally present moment. Without the past, future, present tense, you are actually being yourself. Okay, now we are going to start with our first uh, uh, Posture for a spinal twist. So put your right hand over your left knee. Put your left hand behind. Keep your spine straight. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, turn to your left. Feel that twist in your lower back, in your spine. And now slowly turn your neck and face front. And relax. Let go. Feels great. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So your left hand on your right knee. Your right hand goes in the back. Breathe in. And slowly turn your upper body, your torso to the left. I mean to the right this time. Hold it. Stay there. 
And now slowly turn your face. Move your face to the front. Feel that twist on your lower back. Your torso is still turned to the right. And relax. Shake it off. Catch your breath. <clears throat> Very good. And now we will do the heel stroll. So bring your feet closer to your body. Raise your heels up. Your hands are resting on the thighs. Raise your heels up. Feel that um, stretch of your calves, muscles here, you know, your uh, shins. And now bring your heels down and raise your toes up. So now your feet are lifted up. Feet down, heels up. Heels down, feet, your toes up. It feels great. People with varicose veins problems, you will find it very relaxing and relieving. One more time. Heels up, toes down. Heels down, toes up. Very good. And relax. Shake it, catch your breath. Keep your spine straight. Now we will do uh, leg lifting. So again, listen to your body and at no point should you experience pain. And if you feel pain, you've gone too far, you need to cut back, okay? Breathe in and lift your right leg up and then bring it down. Left leg up and bring it down. Keep breathing. In and out. In and out. Last round. In and out. If you need to hold it, you can even hold it. In and out and relax. Very good. Now we will do a side movement, lateral movement with the legs. So breathe in, move your left leg to the side and breathe out. Bring it to the front. Oh, sorry, this is my right leg. I'm looking on the monitor and it, it reverses it. Okay, breathe in. And now left leg to the side. And then left leg to the front. Let's do the same thing again with the right leg to the right side. You're working on the pelvic joint. Front, left leg to the side and front. Okay. Very good. And now for, lift your right leg and see if you can hold it tightly against your body. So this is called Ardh Pavan Muktasan. You're holding the one leg tightly against your belly, against your body. And relax. Now we'll do the same thing with the other leg. So breathe in. And lift your other leg. Hold it tightly against the body. Hold it. Feel that pressure in your lower abdomen. It's powerful for improving digestion, getting rid of uh, constipation, acid reflux, flatulence. Bring it down and relax. Shake it very good. And now stretch your legs in front of you. Let's see if you can see. And now just move your ankles, or your feet side to side. So working on that ankle joint. So keeping the legs straight and just moving them like wipers of a car. And we need wipers here today in Virginia. It has been raining here in the Hampton Roads since yesterday. So using these wipers, now roll them around. Do it in the opposite direction. Relax. Press the kneecaps down. Feel the tightness of your kneecaps. So keep sitting. Make sure you don't slide off. So hold it tightly and press the kneecaps down. Hold it tightly, pressing your feet down, holding the kneecaps tight. You can feel the tightness in your quads, your hamstring. Hold it tight and relax. Very nice. Okay. And now bring your feet back together. And now we will do bring our attention to our upper body. So interlacing your fingers, you're going to flip your hands and straighten your arms all the way. Feel the full stretch. Initially, you will notice your elbows are slightly bent and that is okay. 
and then slowly you will notice that your elbows begin to stretch and you have a full stretch of your arms. Hold it here and relax. Let go of your fingers, spread your fingers wide open like starfish, then make a tight fist. Open and make a fist. Now open your hands, lift your hands up, straight down, straight up. This is extension, hyper extension, flexion, very good for the wrist joint. And now raise one hand up and one hand down. The other hand up, other hand up. So it's like you're alternating with both your hands. Yes, up and down. You can do that working on the wrist joint and your uh, hand, eye movement coordination here. Relax. And now roll your fist around with your thumb inside. Keep your thumb inside the fist. Now do it in the opposite direction. Very good. Now open your hands and touch your shoulders. Open and fold. Open and fold. Do it sideways. Open and fold. Open and fold. Drop your elbows down and roll them around. Breathe in as the elbows go back and breathe out to the front. Now do it counterclockwise direction. Opposite direction. Last round. And relax. Now hold the two wrists with your right hand, hold the left wrist with your left hand, hold the right wrist, raise your arms up. Feel the stretch of your spine. Feel the extension of your vertebral column. And now bend it to one side. Try not to rest your arm on your head, keep it behind. Then bring it to the center and then to the other side. And bring it to the center and relax. Feels so good. All right. <clears throat> and now to the neck, let's bring our attention to the big joint. Drop your chin down. Then raise your chin up and drop your head back. Then bring your head to the center and turn it to the right. So you're tilting your head to the right. Feel the stretch on the left side of your neck. Bring your head to the center and drop it to the left side. And now your left ear is closer to your left shoulder. Feel the stretch on the right side of your neck and bring your head to the center. Now slowly turn your head to the right. Look on the right side. Bring your head to the center, breathe in. And turn to the other side. Bring your head to the center, drop it down and very slowly and mindfully roll it around. We'll do two rounds in one direction and two rounds in the opposite direction, but do it slowly, mindfully. We are not in a rush, take your time. And if it hurts, you need to cut back. And always do this Brahma Mudra sitting down. Don't try to do it when you are standing up. It's not recommended. Wow, it really brings about this altered sense of consciousness. <clears throat> Very good. And now let's do a side stretch that we did last time. It was something new. So what you do, you turn to the side of your chair. So both your feet are on the ground. And then with your left leg, you're going to slowly move and take it back. And see if you can. So you're basically sitting on this, the chair on, with your right head. Your left leg is stretched behind. Your back is upright and straight. Stay there and relax. Bring your leg back here. Now we will do the same thing on the other side. So <clears throat> now to the right side, or to the left side. So get ready and breathe in. And then slowly, you can lift, you can hold your chair when you're doing this for support. And then take your right leg behind and stay there. Keep your spine straight. Keep holding, you can bring your hands on your thighs, left thigh, or you can keep holding the chair. 
it feels great that stretch here you can feel it in your hamstring your quads and keep your core muscles engaged what does that mean that is keep your belly tight so you're holding it in and relax and come back to the <coughs> to, to to face front all right now we need to do we have done some um, stretches now we need to do balancing very important especially as we grow older so we're going to stand up and we are going to use the chair for support as we do our balancing postures so holding the chair you're going to lift your left leg and just hold it so you're standing on one leg and then see if you can let go of the hold and then again hold it for support so as soon as you start getting wobbly or shaky or you're losing your balance you need to immediately then hold hold the wall or hold a chair whatever is convenient to you then bring your leg down catch your breath now put your other leg forward and again lift it so again we do the same thing you're standing on one leg holding it letting go holding it so slowly you're incorporating balance in your body then you can even bring your hands together if you want whatever is comfortable and then bring your foot down and relax catch your breath very good and now with the chair we are going to do another stretch breathe in and as you breathe out put your right leg behind and push it so your right heel is down try to bring it down initially it will be up like this that is okay slowly see if you can even bring it down and your left leg is slightly bent look straight ahead then relax let go now we'll do the same thing with the other leg take the other leg behind and bend your left knee this time feel you feel it in your uh, calf muscles and your pelvic joint and relax and now we will do like climbing stairs if we are not used to doing uh, doing that then we'll find that you know we it it becomes difficult for us to do so we need to practice that so the way we do that is bring your right foot in put right foot up on your chair hold it there then bring it down and keep holding the chair then put your left foot up bring it down so you you're relaxing your your pelvic joint up and down up and down this will facilitate uh, your ability to climb stairs and steps up and down up down last round up and down and relax now you can sit down again on the chair here and let's do this fold your hands into like tight yogic fists with the thumb inside and you're going to push your elbows back so both your folded elbows you're pushing it back you feel the stretch here in your thoracic cavity your shoulder blade and push as far back as you can with your elbows so you're pushing your elbows back and relax very good <clears throat> now we will move on to our breath work we did body work now we are going to do some breath work so <clears throat> we will do start with just deep breathing take a deep breath in and an extended breath out one more time this is bhastrika pranayam it has tremendous benefits when you're doing slow deep rhythmic regular breathing it slowly begins to <clears throat> uh to begins to secrete hormones like endorphin which is body's natural pain killer so you will notice any time you're feeling pain if you do deep breaths that pain will begin to diminish it will begin to minimize 
and that is why you notice you know that if in hospitals in emergency rooms in, in maternity wards the physicians or the respiratory therapist or the nurse tells the patient to do deep breathing that is the power of deep breathing so you are doing a deep inhalation and an extended exhalation and slowly you will notice that your breathing rate becomes slower and it's not as rapid as it was maybe when you started because breath is directly related to the state of our mind and since at the start of the session our mind we already decluttered our mind we already got rid of all the toxins the mental toxins the psychological toxins the emotional toxins that were there we got rid of all of that remember we got rid of all the feelings of past that was related to guilt regret anger blame pain all of that gone kaput vanished and <clears throat> we also got rid of all our future worries anxiety speculation fear which is all thought in our head so now that the mind is decluttered mind is clear our breath is slow and rhythmic and deep and we can focus on in the now next we will do anulom vilom pranayam so raise your right hand hold the the right thumb against your right nostril so you're just side gently closing on the side putting it on the side closing the right nostril you're going to breathe in from the left nostril then bring your uh, your ring finger and close your left nostril with your ring finger on the side and let go of your thumb breathe out from the right nostril keeping the left nostril closed then keeping the left nostril closed you are going to breathe in from the right nostril close the right nostril with your right thumb let go of your ring finger and breathe out from the left this is one round so do a few rounds of alternate nostril breathing at your own pace there are tremendous benefits of alternate nostril breathing because it has a instant calming effect on our nervous system and it also brings balance between our left brain and right brain so what happens our left brain and right brain are cross connected with our nostrils so the right nasal passage is connected to the left brain and the the left nasal passage is connected to the right brain. so what happens as a result it has a instant balance of our any imbalance that is there between our left brain and right brain also any time you feel your mind is agitated your mind is angry upset or just annoyed do a few rounds of alternate nostril breathing and you will see the instant results it's a very powerful breathing technique called anulom vilom pranayam so with that now we will um, uh, we have a few minutes left so let's do the bhramari pranayam it is called a bumblebee pranayam it's a very relaxing it helps to lower down the cholesterol it improves sleep and if you have like sleep apnea bhramari pranayam is recommended for that or if you have what is called uh, snoring if you are snoring a lot try to do bhramari pranayam before going to bed so how you will do that is raise both your hands bring your index finger on your forehead gently close your eyelids and put your middle finger on top of your eyelids but don't put a lot of pressure on your middle finger. then put your ring finger above your upper lip and your little finger uh, below your lower lip your thumbs are extended towards your ears so before you plug your ears with your thumb so what we are going to do 
We're going to take a deep breath in and then we're going to make a humming sound like that of a bumblebee. So we will do it just one time. So go ahead, take a deep breath in, plug your ears. This is so relaxing. It just cuts down any noise that's around you or even within you. And it just, the harmony of the, the vibrations of the sound, they are in resonance with all the others. It has that harmonic resonance effect inside the body and mind. Keep your back upright and straight. Keep your shoulders rounded back. Keep your chin parallel to the ground. And stay with the sense of lightness that you're feeling now. The sense of total presence. This presence is not the present tense that we talk about. It's not in time. So it is not past tense, present tense, future tense. This is just being in your element without any of the conditioning. And you will notice now the traffic of thoughts has subsided significantly. So if you came into the session with a lot of chatter in the head, now it has subsided. And also it has subsided because you have already expelled all the negative emotions from your mind, from your body. Anything negative about the past, you already let go. And any negative thoughts you have about future, you're already, you already let that go. So now all you have is this state of awareness. And in this state, you feel just total peace. There is no noise of any, any thoughts. And you're not trying to resist thoughts. And if they come, that's fine, they're coming. But you bring your attention to this presence, this awareness, which is the backdrop of the thoughts. This awareness, which has been there ever since we came on this planet. The awareness that is not colored by our relationships, our experiences, our future uh, plans, not our credentials. It is just the very pure essence of our being, who we are. Here, notice, there is no, no boundaries, there are no edges, there are no limits. So it is limitless. Also notice it has no shape, this state of this awareness. So it is shapeless, formless, colorless, timeless. It just is. And it's non-local, which means 
you cannot find it in the specific location of your body. It just is. So it is the beingness or consciousness. And in this state, it is actually a stateless state, but here you find there are no problems, there are no fears, there are no worries, no anxieties, no tension. There is just peace, compassion. You may feel love. And there is this sense of joy, this undercurrent of joy that needs no reason. It needs no object. It just is. This is our being. This is who we are. We are joyful beings. Keep your back upright and straight. And in a few seconds, we will end our session and we will open our eyes, but it doesn't matter, eyes open or eyes closed. This awareness, this presence, this uh, beingness is always there. And even in the deep sleep, it's there. Slowly relax and bring your hands together, rub your hands, feel the warmth of your hands, then gently put your palms over your face, cupping over your eyes and slowly open your eyes by massaging your facial muscles with your fingertips, your forehead, your eyes, under your eyes, your cheeks, your scalp. So till next time, eat wisely, move smart, breathe deep, sleep well, relax, meditate, stay healthy and stay safe. Thank you and we'll see you next Sunday. Okay, now that I'm here, let's see if anybody has any comments or questions. Okay, enjoy everyone. Have a wonderful week and we'll see you next Sunday.